You are now watching Zach Lesage PTCG. Let's get it. Yo, what's going on peeps? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be covering over 80p hammers. I mean, two concepts that people don't necessarily like at all. People usually complain about hammers. People usually complain about ADP. Let's sandwich them up and make a deck. Shout out to my pal Gabe Smart for um, really bringing this concept back recently. Uh, doing really well with deck, so heavily based uh, concept on what he's been playing around with lately. But I mean, it's not necessarily a new concept. Um, I mean, I was playing it back um, months ago. I mean, I played against against the Players Cup. But really, sometimes bringing the, these old ideas back really help out the meta game. So we're gonna see how exactly how ADP is looking nowadays. I do know that I've covered ADP a couple times this week. Uh, this being the second time, I guess. So sorry about that. I know not everyone loves ADP but this is a great way to update all of our top decks and formats, and it is a big enough kind of discovery with the deck that I do want to cover it again. So feel free to check it out if you want. Otherwise, uh, I guess I'll catch everyone for the next video. Anyways, if you're missing any cards for this deck, go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code ZLASAGE5 to save 5% on your next order of codes for anything you need for this deck or whatever you're looking for in general. The deck is in the description below, so check that out. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button right there. Totally be awesome. And I mean, give this video a like, it does help out the YouTube algorithm. Let's jump into the deck list. I don't wanna take up too many people's time, so let's jump right into it. So here we are with another uh, ADP deck. I mean, I try not to cover ADP as much as possible, but as the deck does evolve and we see that the deck has added in crushing hammers this week, I do want to make sure that I do let people know what's going on with our general metagame. So if that covers the same deck twice in a week, so be it. I'd rather everyone be knowledgeable, especially with big tournaments like the GG Tour event coming up this weekend. Um, at the time of this video, it's going to be happening tomorrow. Um, but it does give you a little bit of a heads up and what's going on with these decks. So this deck for anyone who's new to the game or just wondering to get a recap, Altered Creation GX is on ADP, RC style, the Palkia GX. Um, Altered Creation doing an extra 30 damage for the rest of the game for a single metal energy. And if you have a water energy attached to it, so a metal and a water, you're doing an extra 30 and drawing an extra prize card every single time you knock out your opponent's active by damage from an attack. That means that you could target down Pokemon like the Dene, Crobat, Eldegoss, all those two prize card Pokemon are now worth three prize cards, meaning you only need to knock out two Pokemon to win the game. Ultimate Ray doing 180 does a lot of damage and it could power up one of your Pokemon with the three basic Pokemon or energy cards. You got it on the Zacian V. Zacian V works naturally. It's like peanut butter and jelly. This where uh, ADP is lacking, Zacian V is like, cool, I can accelerate energies uh, on that turn where you're not using Altered Creation GX. I can uh, draw cards for you. I can do a lot of damage. So Zacian V has a lot of stuff going on. Mawile GX allowing you to bring down other Pokemon that your opponent might be hiding into their hands. And uh, Wily Bite is certainly a valuable attack. This list is heavily based, if not the exact list that Gabriel Smart played to a strong finish at the Hexters, missing out on top eight, coming ninth, unfortunately, not having the opportunity, and playing the same list at Chill TCG, placing within top 16, bubbling out again. So the double bubble hurting Gabe's heart, breaking my soul for my friend. But um, the list obviously has proven successful. Crushing Hammer being good against Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, being good against Eternatus, being good against other ADPs. Really just uh, a degenerate card mixed with a degenerate card um, that's very consistent. That's basically how this is going to work together. Um, I've, I've seen this kind of touted as the best deck in formats. I've seen that thrown around. I mean, I have covered other Altered Creation um, decks, other ADP variants, Zacian variants. So if you're looking for a little bit more info, feel free to check those out. If there's something that you're like, I don't know why you played this or any counts, let me know in the comments below. I usually get back to them um, within 24 hours, honestly. Like, probably, like, I'll get to them within two hours. I'm not gonna lie. I'm addicted to my phone at all uh, given times. So I'd say uh, give this deck a try. It seems like a very worthwhile um, update to ADP. So let's jump into some gameplay, see how it works. I mean, Crushing Hammer doesn't necessarily have to come out every single game, or it's not necessarily going to matter, but sometimes it doesn't hurt to play it um, to hurt your opponent even more, because the biggest idea with this deck is there's so lim many limited turns in the game. So you go attach an energy to ADP, attach an energy altered creation GX, ultimate ray, or attacking with 
Mawile slash Zacian because there is Metal Saucer available into this deck and there is Energy Switch available into this deck. Then you repeat it again. That's four turns in a game. If your opponent's trying to win in a four turn clock, Crashing Hammer can slow them down enough so they can steal those dubs from your opponent. So let's jump to some gameplay, see if the what's going on, but this deck's uh, super awesome. Busted, we won the coin flip. Would we like to go first? Yeah, ADP typically wants to go first. Um, not too many situations where the deck really wants to go second. And I think this hand's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Starting with ADP is uh, just kind of vibing out. Uh, ADP is pretty much one of the better starts that you get in this deck. So they're starting with a Zigzagoon. That's completely fine. Um, I do want to go ahead here and just like go quick ball. I think it's fine to just get a the Dene in the discard pile because one's going to get discarded anyways. I'm going to go ahead here, just grab a Zacian, look through the deck, make sure that you're always checking through your deck. One of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of players not dealing with. So we could have prized all of our waters and I might have might have wanted to attach the energy to a Zacian. Sounds crazy, but sometimes your waters are prized and Alter Creation is not an option. So we're going to attach the metal energy here. Always attach the metal energy first for the sake of like uh, crushing hammer plays and stuff like that. Unless you explicitly know your opponent's deck. And then we're going to go ahead here. Um, I'm going to leave the energy spinner in hand, not playing it. You could grab a water to thin out your deck. So let's just go Intrepid Sword. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good here. So we'll see exactly what our opponent's playing against. But I mean, they are under complete fire of like altered creation gx turn two and i mean to some people you may be like yo zach you already covered this deck the other day why are you covering this deck again um i think this deck has grown significantly in the past few days um ever since a lot of top players gabriel smart um logan mckay von o'brien like they, they've all been playing adp crushing hammers a lot of players are playing it and it really changes the metagame i work closely with a lot of these peeps and it's one of those things where just to make sure that everyone has um, the most access to their decks and the most access to current decks, this is one of those rare cases where, yeah, we did cover ADP twice this week, but it's one of those things where I want to make sure that everyone has access to a solid list. So that's why. Um, one of the things that we got to watch out for here is our energy spinner went to the bottom, and that's why we didn't grab the water energy off the beginning, just in case something like that happens. And we're also in a position, too, where our opponent might just, like, have to pass with a lone zigzagoon okay maybe they're playing um desi goons that's a very real possibility as well or just obstagoon now this version does not play um age slash so that is something to watch out for they have to be careful with how many pokemon they put down but i wouldn't be surprised if this grabbed a rally out That is a capture energy. So I think they're just looking through their deck, making sure that they have access to things. Oh, it's Rapid Strike Urshifu. Okay, interesting. Um, at least it's not a Desi Goons or something like that that I have to watch out for. So this should be a pretty good matchup for us. We have a good setup so far. We just need to find a water energy this turn, first and foremost. So I am going to go ahead here and see if there's any quick Pokemon I could rip out of their hand with the Cherish Ball, because I am going to pitch this hand away with the Dene. Um, so they just went Gormandize. This is a great time to use Mawile. Um, don't use Mawile when they have a small hand unless you know what's going on. So let's rip Cheryl. Yeah, it's a really weird list. Um, I might as well go for the Crushing Hammer. I don't see any reason why not to. I do want to just bank a boss orders in the discard pile. And I'm going to pitch his hand away looking for the water energy. So, so far, no water energy, but that's okay. We are going to go quick ball here, discarding this. Um, we can always try to Crobat a little bit more. So, I am going to go Crobat because I really would like to get it. I am going to go Metal Saucer um, here. I don't think the energy switch is going to matter. So I'm going to energy switch over to there because I do want to get the Zacian powered up. And now let's Crobat for four. So just really trying to get to that water energy. Um, again, see if there's anything that I want to pitch out of this deck. There's nothing at the Denny. I'd like to keep that in there. No reason to play an escape rope. Um, I think I just want to pitch this whole hand away. 
So we did find um, pretty much everything we were looking for. So we have that, let's go for the Altered Creation. So pretty good overall, um, turn two. So just kind of like really going after what we had turn one and going after it turn two. Now we just want to knock out two three prize or we want to knock out two Pokemon that are two prizers that are now worth three prizers. But we could also knock out three one prizer Pokemon that are now worth two prizes. We could also knock out a four prize card Pokemon when that Pokemon evolves. So it's it goes back and forth. Reset stamp is probably like it's probably better to keep it in the deck unless you're trying to thin out. Um, I'd very much like to knock out this next turn if that's a possibility. Um, I could if I get an energy switch or maybe if I get a metal saucer. Okay, so so far, like, I mean, our opponent's just, like, vibing out here. Like, they're just, uh, getting set up. Trying to get out a Rapid Strike Urshavu VMAX, I guess. We gotta watch out for their Cheryl, because they are playing some Cheryl combo. But our goal is just gonna be simple, um, ultimate ray those Pokemon away. There's a calm. Let's see what they're gonna go for. Maybe it's gonna be the V Max. There's the Rapid Strike Ursh V Max. Card looks so much different than the one that I played with. I played with the Alt Art one. All the Urshifus look so, 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 so different. And now they're gonna Bird Keeper into it. Interesting. Will they find the fighting energy necessary? They are upset probably because they did not get the fighting energy. Um, that means we're probably just going to attack right into it. Oh, we would have got the Metal Saucer as well. Wow. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead, right attack into it. Let's go Ultimate Ray. Boom. Um, no need to do anything else here. One, two. We are going to grab the Water Energy. So let's go one energy here. Let's go for another energy there. And let's power up the water energy to the Mawile. Because for Wily Bite, you don't need the full uh, set of energies. So that's going to reach out the energy there. And we should be, in general, like, okay. As long as they don't play a Cheryl. But if they play a Cheryl, they'd have to play a Switch. And they still wouldn't have the energy. So, I mean, I don't know. It seems um, difficult at best for our opponent to get out of the situation. Because once we overcome this, we just have to knock out a single prize card Pokemon. So, looking like a pretty good situation for us to be in. The hammer's not really mattering too much here, but um, in, in a normal case where we're playing against a more traditional Rapid Strike deck, one that doesn't play Guru, Cheryl, Bird Keeper, um, getting their energies off early can definitely help prevent the G-Max Rapid Flow if necessary. And we have the boss orders in hand, so I mean, I'm feeling pretty good as long as there's no Cheryl. Okay, there's another bird keeper so they can't Cheryl which means we're gonna knock that out so I mean I think we're in a very prime winning position if anything I'd rather them bring it up than us having to get it so I think our opponent's struggling on the decision if they even have the fighting energy to bring it up and attack, realizing they're about to lose four prize cards? Or do they do they concede this game maybe at this point? 
Looks like they just didn't get it. So, I mean, I'll make their choice really easy for them bringing this up. And then I'm just going to knock it out. Um, so, I wouldn't be surprised if they just conceded there because, like, I feel like we basically have win in hands. And that's exactly what we're going to see there. Showing the true power of ADP this game. So, calling another coin flip, we're going to go with uh, Tails here. We did win the coin flip, which is awesome. What we'd like to go first, yeah. You always want to go first with a deck like this, just so you can get the energy on your ADP, so you can get that turn two altered creation. And, I mean, it also gives us an opportunity um, to not play hammers. You don't want to do too much with ADP on your first turn. So if we are playing against an Eternatus deck or something like that, uh, we could be in good shape here. Now, this isn't a ridiculously good hand, but we do have options here. So we only want to bench the one Pokemon because you could always change your mind on your first turn if you want to bench more. And we'll see exactly how this works out. We gave our opponent a couple things. The Coffin can be interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead here and actually just discard a an Energy Switch. I don't think we really need Energy Switch right now. Um, two copies at least. So I'm going to discard an Energy Switch, search my deck. We do have the ADP. Um, double checking through, we do have the water energies necessary. We already have one in our hand, but it's always good to see like what your limitations are for this deck. And of course, check the rest of your prize cards while you're going through on your first search um, to the best of your ability. I do have a video up on my channel too. So just search, search up like Zach Lesage, how to search your prizes. That would come in clutch. Um, we're not going for something like a Dedene or a Crobat here just because we do have Intrepid Sword and I think we're going to draw something well off that. Um, I think that's a reasonable thing so that are the next four cards that we see um three from intrepid sword our top deck for next turn we're probably going to get a supporter or some card that advances our board state so let's grab the adp um usually want to attach the metal energy first to it just in case your opponent plays a crushing hammer or anything of the sort so we're going to go like that um and water energies are more valuable and then we're going to go for the intrepid sword here um basically exactly as i said we got crowbat we got research so we got us uh, we, we got some vibes here we're uh easy going first turn um really looking for an escape rope switch next turn or an air balloon to get out of the active i think they're probably just going to go ahead and uh try to go into some galarian wheezing now this is probably eternatus wheezing if i've ever if i could say that um a little bit uncommon to be honest but it is one of those things where um it doesn't necessarily matter too much for us we're just trying to isolate their other pokemon so we're gonna go power plant whatever we got to, uh, that's going to stop our V Pokemon, or our GX Pokemon, and Marnie, Marnie's completely fine too, our hand wasn't anything spectacular. So, right now we can currently play a Crobat V, not Dedenne, and, I mean, it's not ridiculously bad. We'll see, um, what our opponent can do here. I think they're just going to go Ascension into a Galarian Weezing, if I ever had a hunch. Maybe, maybe it's prized. Um, so this is going to stop all of our Pokemon from having abilities. So that means no more Intrepid Sword. That means our hand's a little bit dead. But um, that's only while Weezing's in the active spot. So here's exactly how we're going to deal with that. We're going to go with Boss Orders up this Pokemon. Pretty solid there. We're not going to be able to get the turn 2 Altered Creation GX because our opponent did Marnie us into a poor hand. But we are now able to use Intrepid Sword because this only works while it's in the active. And the Power Plant does only block GX Pokemon and EX Pokemon. So, always think creative um, when it comes down to things. I mean, this might not particularly be the best matchup, but you can fight the best you possibly can. And Hammers could mean a big difference against E-Turn decks. Um, it, it, that's basically where it's at. So they're just going to free retreat and probably just start severe poisoning us. That's cool. Um, we just got to vibe out here and see what's going on. Um, not too, too worried about it. Would really like a switch or a supporter card of some sorts. <clears throat> so there's a metal energy. So as long as this Pokemon's your active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no abilities, except for neutralizing gas. So yeah, um, Great Catcher's not going to be able to do anything. Cherish Ball's not going to be able to grab a Pokemon. We aren't going to be able to get around this. So I am going to attach an energy here. Um, the reason why I'm attaching an energy there, first and foremost, is just so that next turn we can energy switch and attach another one and attack. Um, really nothing else going on here. Don't want, don't want to use energy spinner yet. 
I'm just gonna go ahead here and pass. It's an awkward situation, that's factual. But we'll see exactly what's going on here. Just gotta wait for it. So there's another energy. They might be slowing their own setup with this deck as well. I don't think they're really gonna play Marnie because our hand's a little bit dead. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just went for like a pass here. Because we're already poisoned. I, I don't... Usually when players have cards, they immediately slap them down. Um, so I think this is a case where they're just trying to determine what they're trying to do. I don't think there's a lot for them to determine. I think they're more or less like... I'm doing nothing, do I even go into like an E-turn or something like that, go Power Accelerator? These are really the things that they're kind of chilling with. Yeah, so my prediction's correct, that's cool. Um, now there is a Mawile there, I'm not particularly worried about Mawile yet. I am just going to go Energy here, Energy Switch from here to here, still not remotely i um, super happy with what's going on here yet, but I am going to go ahead and Brave Blade. They currently don't have much going on. We are poisoned, but like, it is what it is. Let's just try to take that out of the spot so we have an opportunity to advance. So now that they don't have a Galarian Weezing in play, we might be able to go, let's say, um, Eldegoss or a Crobat or something that would allow us to draw. We'll have to see what card they got off the top of their turn, but we might be able to completely uh, bring this game back. The reset stamp there might actually be nicer for us. Um, somehow it found its way being worse. <laughs> I've actually like never seen a hand just like magically become that much worse. But we do have, uh, actually it might not be worse. We have Chaotic Swell. We did top deck a research. So you want to know what? I, I actually do not hate this. We're going to go Chaotic Swell. That's cool. No more Power Plant. No more Galarian Weezing. We are going to go for Cherish Ball because I was thinking of originally doing Dedenne because I didn't think of the Chaotic Swell Power Plant. Sometimes it takes me a second, even myself, to get everything connected. We are going to go ahead here and grab a Mawile. Mawile is a great attacker in this matchup. We could actually probably knock out a couple of their Pokemon. We're not too far behind at all. Um, so let's go Mawile, try to address their hand, and it does give us that Metal Saucer. So I really like that we utilize everything that we have in our hands. They have like nothing. Um, so do keep note when you do something like Mawile, try to figure out exactly what's going on in your opponent's hands. See what we got going on there. They have boss and all that stuff, but I mean, it's not as bad as it was last turn. And we're going to go research, trying to find a Metal Energy to use Altered Creation. So, so far we did not find one, but that's okay. Um, we can just go here and try to thin out our deck a little bit. So before thinning out our deck, we can go Cherish Ball, see if there's anything else that we want to pitch away. Um, the Dene GX probably not going to be the hottest card of the century, so we're not going to grab that. I am going to go Quick Ball, Discarding, and Escape Rope. I don't see us using that either. Four, um, there's really nothing I want to grab here. So let's try to Zacian, which is going to be important in this matchup. We do have all those energies that we can Metal Saucer over to it. Um, I am going to use Crobat. There's nothing stopping that. We just need to find a Metal Energy, peeps. That's that's the squad goals. Maybe Zacian might might not have been the greatest Pokemon to put down because they could have knocked they can knock it out with um, Galarian Weezing if they decide to choose so. They could go boss this up and Galarian Weezing it and stuff like that. Um, maybe at that point it's better for me just to um, have an escape rope ready to get under there. So, actually I do have research. I, I feel okay with this hand. I'm just gonna go for the Altered Creation GX and I'm feeling um, pretty good about that. So they have to react pretty hard to what we have going on. Like right now, based off their energy boss orders switch i think their best play is to go galarian wheezing attached to galarian coughing boss's orders up zation v i think that's exactly what's going to happen oh they're just leaving us a galarian wheezing so the fact that they didn't use boss's orders 
means that we can now power up a Galarian Weezing and not worry about it, and knock out one of these Pokemon. So I think we're in a very good winning position here. Let's attach to the ADP. No point about doing anything else here. Um, actually, you wanna what? It might be better for us to do something. We, we could use research to try to get into a boss for next turn. However, I do think it's better for us to use Ultimate Ray uh, because I don't want to draw into energies off research. So sometimes I go, this is a good play. I go back on it, but I try to catch myself making a mistake or catching any um, non-ideal play before I do it. So try to do that as well. Let's go uh, Ultimate Ray. That sounds like the wave here. 180 damage, and then we could power up this uh, Zacian. Um, I am going to grab an extra water energy just to attach to the Mawile. Make sure that I'm actually looking at the energies that I'm attaching. I was so close to making a mistake there. There's the water energy on the Mawile. And I mean, we we are pretty close to just boss orders game at this point. So there's our metal energy. We need to find a boss. Boss is searchable by Eldegoss, which is searchable by Quick Ball. So the whole plan is attach to the Zacian. Dedene pitch everything away and uh, hopefully profit off that Eldegoss. Pretty simple so far. And I don't know if our opponent's going to concede here. I don't know if they're going to try to top deck a supporter card. Um, I mean, they could definitely get a knockout with, with their Eternatus. But right now, we currently, if they don't get an Eternatus VMAX, yeah, we're just going to take the dub. But it does show that you can come back with this deck. Maybe not even with hammers, but it does show the versatility of this deck. And that's what we have going on for this video today. I don't think Hammers really um, affected those particular matchups, but it's one of those things where Hammers also didn't make the deck any less consistent than it would normally. Um, and in the matchups where it does matter, getting them against Eternatus and ADP and Rapid Strike, it could definitely um, do some big damage there and really pull its weight. So be sure to check out those matchups, try them out on your own. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you wanna go over. Maybe I missed something. Maybe you're like, yo, I didn't understand this play. Why did you play like this? I'll totally let you know exactly what's going on. And again, if you haven't subscribed by now, subscribe by now, totally would appreciate it. Really appreciate everyone who's been uh, showing their love lately and their support it means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much, everyone. That being said, I gotta edit, edit this before uh, I go eat some dinner and my girlfriend has a dental appointment. So we gotta go uh, take care of that fun times. All right, have yourself a great one and we'll catch up with you re real soon. Peace out. I wanna give a huge shout out to everyone who's become a channel member so far. Some peeps wa love watching my videos and I totally appreciate that, but some peeps have gone more than out of their way beyond just watching my videos and have supported me financially. So shout out to everyone who's been featured on this channel, who's going through this list of names. We actually have so many channel members that I can't fit them in a single slide. So I figured this might be the best way to get everyone appreciated and kind of showcase all of the top supporters of the Zach Lesage PTCG YouTube channel. Seriously, it means the bottom, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I, it's honestly, I'm almost at a loss for words but I, I'm so happy that you are all appreciating and loving the content and that it's hitting home. And I mean, I'm all, I'm up all in my feels. So I hope that you uh, <laughs> understand. And thank you so much, everyone. If you want to become a channel member, totally consider it. Um, I'll make it worth your while. Um, and I, I totally mean that. I'll do everything I possibly can for my channel members to make it sure that it's worth their while. So thank you so much, everyone. And it, it, it's just amazing. Thank you. For everyone who's wondering on how to become a channel member, I first and foremost appreciate your consideration. You can click on any one of my videos on desktop, and then you can click join. Join will give you all the opportunities about what we have going on. You can support my content, you can choose the deck list hookup, where you get access to my deck list, and we have a group coaching package as well. Um, there's a lot of other things like custom emotes, early access to videos that I try to offer, so you would just click join and you'd be good and you'd be featured at the end of these videos. Thanks so much everyone. Thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you haven't already, it'd mean the world to me if you could subscribe to help support me as a content creator. Thanks again and have yourself a great one.